Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to create tabs on our surface that we lay down onto our Rhino surface. And we're going to use the Text Tag 3D tutorial definition to create this. Since we already oriented our tabs or our surface onto, our surf onto the Rhino surface. So to get started, we're going to go to Surface and grab the BREP components. And that's to explode our orientated surfaces. And I'm going to unpreview the explode and then I'm going to offset the curves or the edges by going to curves and grab the offset and the curves will be the edges and then D is our distance or offset distance and I'm going to go to parameters and grab the grab the number slider and I'm going to edit this from filling points to integers and the lower limit to be negative 12 and the upper limit to be 0 and the value be negative 12. I'm going to change this into inches so I'm going to grab a one variable expression I'm going to divide it by 12 and this will go into our D distance of offset. Next thing we need to do is to scale our lines down so I'm going to X form, go to find and grab scale. And our curves that we want to scale is our offset. And then it's it's not at the center of each curve. So to do that, we're going to curve and find the evaluative length button. And then the curves that we want to evaluate are our offset. And then we want to find the half of each line. So that's 0.5. So I'm going to number in primitive under parameters and change the number to 0.5 by setting it. I'm also going to rename as 0 0.5 so I know what the number is. And this will go into length. And then the P will be our center of of scale. And I'm going to unpreview the offset also. So now you can see our scaled lines. We also want to control how much we want to scale down. And that's in percentage. So I'm just going to change this to integers and I'm going to set the upper limit to be 100 and the value to be 75. And I'm also going to change this to um, percentage, so I need a one variable expression, and this will be x over 100. And this will go into x, and this will go into f. I'm going to unpreview the value of curves. I'm just going to move this down. Next thing we want to do is to find the each line's endpoint. So I'm going to go to logic and grab the list item. I'm going to need two, three of these, so paste it three times. And I'm connect the list into the item, which is our scaling geometry. And then each each eye, I'm going to set it to zero, one, and two respectively. So now we're calling out each line on each panel. And then we need to find the endpoints of each line. So I'm going to go to Curve, go to Analysis, and grab the Endpoint button. I need three of these also. And this will go into the item, so we find the endpoints. And then we also need to find the endpoints of our panels. So I'm going to copy this and paste it. I'm going to drag it back here, and I'm going to put vertices into the list from the Explode. I'm going to drag it back to here. And then we need six lines to create our tabs. So I'm going to go to um, Curve Primitive and grab the Line tool. I'm going to copy and paste it until we get six of these. And then A will go into S, the first three A's. And then the second three A's will go into E. And then B will go into the first item, second item on the second B, and then the third B will go into the third, the third item, and then the second set of line of the three lines, B will start at the second item, the second one will start at the third item, and then the third one will start at the first item, and that creates your tabs. I'm also gonna unpreview the items so you don't see the points. And I'm going to unpreview the endpoints. So 
So now we have our tabs, and we also have our our listed lines. So the, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to join this. So I'm going to go to curve and click on the join curves. I'm just going to put all this into there by holding down shift. I'm going to unpreview these lines. So now we only have the edges. We also need the main line, so that's our listed item. So I'm going to hold down shift and input those also. So now we have our, our lines that we want to cut out with the laser cutter. So I'm going to create a receiver and I'm going to grab a curve and this I'm going to name it as cut cut tabs put that into receiver and then unpreview that and then we also need one for scoring and that's from our main edges so I'm going to go back into curve and grab the join join curves under utilities I'm going to join the edges together I'm going to grab another receiver, another curve, and this will be score. Score lines. This will go into that one. And I'm going to unpreview this join. So now if we click here, these are the lines that we want to score. I'm going to unpreview the scale too. I'm going to move this to here, move this up, move this up, move this down. And then to get the other tabs, I'm just going to copy everything except for the sliders, the numbers, and the function. And I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to reconnect the explode down to here. That was a bad choice to copy all that at once because I forgot to unselect these. So I have to, to move this down. And then we just need to rejoin these curves into our other receivers also. And I'm going to bring back these lines to the beginning or to the left side of our the left side of our definition. So score lines and cut tabs. And then you can move this tab out of the way here, so you guys can have a, so you guys can prefab or uh, cut this in the with the laser cutter a lot easier by telling the the layers which layers to score and which layers are cut, and then that's how you create tabs in in Grasshopper. And thanks for watching.